guys, happy Monday. It is almost the end of school and we're doing something special this week. I am spending um, all day Monday at school um, with uh, eighth graders who are coming back and emptying their lockers, um, getting all their things for the end of the year um, because they graduate on Thursday. So um, because I have that and then I have faculty meetings and other things on Tuesday um, and Thursday's graduation, I've come up with um, something that I do every year with um, sixth and seventh grade or at least seventh grade but this year it's sixth and seventh um, and it is uh, building a city so I am excited to go over that with you but first we are going to say our prayer in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit amen as we pray together teach me God to add love and mercy towards others to subtract sin and anxiety from my life to multiply the fruits of the Holy Spirit and to divide our differences as I share with others acts of mercy today. Please add in uh, your petitions and people and things you would like to pray for. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Um, for those who are sick and suffering, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have no one to pray for them, we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, so this is your um, one main video this week. Um, and it's going to last you the whole time. So it will be helpful for you to go and pull up the city planning sheet number one. So we can go over that um, and talk about it. So pause this and get that. Up, that will be helpful for you all right so um, we are building a city um, last year I don't know if you guys came to see it or not but we filled up the entire stage with a city we had streets we had buildings factories everything you can think of it was super cool um, so this year you are because it's a different year, right? Everything's different this year. You're going to do this at home. So instead of putting you in a group and instead of making you choose just one area, you get to choose whatever you want. It's completely open to you. Okay. I want you to use your imagination. Go and do things that you're interested in and that you like. So here are the main areas. Okay. Main Street, restaurants and shopping. So you could do um, any kind of restaurant you want. You could do any kind of fun store that you want. Um, think about cool looking stores that you've seen before. You can model it after that. Um, obviously this is either pre COVID-19 or post quarantine shutdown time, right? Everything's open in our city. There is no sickness. Uh, you can have a suburban setting. So you can do a school, you can do um, houses, you can do um, condos, you can do apartments. Um, the financial district, banking and investment. And um, typically a lot of kids do skyscrapers for this because let's face it, those people make a lot of money and they often have really nice tall you know, Bank of America building or whatever. Um, but you can have a small bank too if you want to. Um, an industrial park that has factory and technological businesses. Um, sky's the limit, right? You could do a John Deere factory. You could do a shoe factory. You could do a um, place where they do, I don't know, Silicon Valley kind of stuff. Um, cultural center, museums, sites, tourism. Come up with whatever you want there. Um, government facilities like a post office. Uh, a courthouse um, and I say roads on this and I'm going to ask you guys not to do roads this time because we're not going to be able to put them in between uh, all of our things you'll just have yours um, you can do it for fun but not as a part of this project um, but reservoirs um, hospitals no that's important um, parks and recreation zoos um, parks, any kind of park. So it could be a 
you know, a like panorama park. It could be like, um, it could have fountains. It could be, um, an open space park, whatever you want to do and music venues. So it could be like Red Rocks or something else like that. However, I'm going to tell you in a few minutes some of the limitations you have. So you've got to be able to measure this and find the area. That's what we're doing. So you've got to be careful on what you do. Um, entertainment. So it could be theaters, um, like DCPA, uh, opera house, anything, anything related to the arts. Sports. could be a baseball stadium, a football stadium, um, basketball arena, uh... Quidditch pitch, uh, <laughs> whatever you want to do there. Um, okay, so those are the general areas. Hopefully I've come up with just about everything. And if not, you fit it into one of those. You don't have to go by just my examples. Okay, so that's the first thing that you're going to do today is you're going to come up with, and I'm going to ask you, everyone's got to do at least two. However, this is going to last you all week. Um, it would be awesome if you could do a whole city. You know, that would be so fun. Um, but, you know, two to four buildings is within expectations. Um, more than that would be great. But you have to be able to follow all of what we're doing here. Okay? So today, why don't you start with four? And if you only get to two, so be it. But um, pick your favorite two that you start with. All right. Um Number two sheet is the city planning, the shapes of buildings. So here's what I'm telling you. All the things that we have done, um, that we have done all of our um, formulas for, okay, for area. So rectangles, squares, uh, triangles, circles. Circles, semicircles, which is a half circle, trapezoids, parallelograms, any of those. Okay, if you're able to figure out anything else um, by maybe making a hexagon into um, triangles, you can do that. Okay, I'm all right with that. Um, so you're going to do what name in the building would be like baseball stadium. It's a circle. Okay, or you know what uh, uh, Bank of America five-story building rectangle okay now you got to think about um, things that you could also include on here so you guys I'm totally fine if like it's hard to come up with like trapezoidal buildings um, not very often but you could do a trapezoid window um, you could do you know some type of ornament on the building or something like that that's one of these shapes and find out that area too so it's I'm kind of leaving it open okay um, and then you're gonna tally that so sixth grade you guys are doing two-dimensional buildings so when you cut yours out let's say this is your building and this is your roof okay you are going to use tape uh, to put like different pieces together complex things right so you would have here a rectangle and your roof is a triangle okay you have now here's what I'm gonna tell you to make your life easier do not just willy-nilly cut this out instead have a ruler <laughs> um, let's see what this is now you can do you just have to be consistent. You can do inches or you can do, and you can do inches and pretend they're yards or inches and pretend they're feet, or you can do centimeters and pretend they're meters. So like this is seven and 7.7 7 centimeters. You don't want to do that. Let's see how that is in inches. It is exactly three inches. So. If it's me, I'm going to go with inches here, and and you can, on your thing somewhere, say inches equal yards. Okay, I'm fine. You don't have to convert. Just say that they are. And this is five. Perfect. This is three by five. So you don't want to just cut something out and find out it's 3.176 inches by, you know, don't make it hard on yourself. 
3 by 5. 3 times 5 is 15. Woo! Not hard. Okay, so this is 3, this is 5, 3 times 5 is 15 yards squared or whatever it is. Okay, and then you're going to find this out. Okay, so you'll measure this again. Now you want the base to be how long? Three inches, unless you want it to, you know, go over, um, like you'd have long eaves or something, and that's totally fine. But do your measuring. Remember, when you do a triangle, you have to measure height. Oh, look at that, three inches. Oh, I'm not doing it in front of you, sorry. Um, three inches. My height is three inches, so that makes it nice. My base is three inches. Nice. So one half base times height, one half times three times three. Half of nine, 4.5 inches or yards squared, whatever you choose to do. Okay? So what I'm telling you is save yourself some time and headaches. When you measure this out, make sure that you measure it and that it is a good, solid, not weird measurement. Okay? Um, all right. Seventh grade. You, on the other hand, are doing three-dimensional things. Okay? You may use things that are already made. Cereal boxes. Or make your own. Here's the deal. Normally, I say you have to make your own. So, what you would do is you would get, um, let's say, four of these. And this would be the side. You'd have another one on this side, another one on the top, another one on the bottom. And then maybe your two ends would look like this, would be a square. Um, and you'd have your rectangles along here, here, here on top here on the bottom. Does that make sense? Right? So it kind of looks like this. Um, you can still do that. Okay? If you want to cut these out and then run a piece of tape along here and then secure the other one, you know, on here so that um, just tape it along so that it, it forms a little box, go for it. Or if you want to do this box, you can't. So I'm just looking at this. Nice. Five inches. Okay? What about up and down, four and a half. Well, 4.5, I can deal with that, right? It's not like 4.21 or something. Um, so, for seventh grade, you're gonna find the area of this rectangle. Then you're gonna find the area of this side. Then you're gonna find the area of this side. Find the area of the bottom. Find the area of the top. All of those are, some of them will be easy. Like if you cut this out and it's three by five, three by five, and you do that four times, well, 15 times four is 60. Boom, you already know that part. And then you can measure the ends, okay? So it's kind of up to you. You are, you have a little bit more work here because you're gonna have to find out all six sides, okay? So seventh grade. Um, you have to do at least two three-dimensional buildings. If you want to do them all that way, that's great. Um, you may have to um, come up with some different ideas um, for um, things that are all the shapes because you still need to get all your shapes in there. So let's say you do that and then you have a flat roof nice um, but you have a window that looks like this okay you have a window that looks like this or maybe you have you know I don't know a weird door or something else that's a different shape um, so that you can get all of your shapes in okay um, so you have to have at least two seventh grade only two three-dimensional buildings and the rest if you want to do 2d you can or you can do 3d for all of it totally fine so do you guys see the difference sixth grade you are doing two-dimensional flat buildings seventh grade you are doing three-dimensional 
and that means you're going to have to find the surface area. That means you have to find the area of each surface, each part of that. Count how many pieces there are there. That's how many you have to find out the area of each one of those and add them all together. Okay? All right. Um, so once you've decided what you're going to do, you can tally up your rectangles. So if you are um, a seventh grader, you've got one, two, th three, and on the back, four rectangles, one, two squares. Wow. So you tally that on your sheet. Um, okay. Number three, city planning measurements. So here it goes. For everyone, you're going to um, write down what your formula is, the name of your building uh, first, um, and then like tell me what it is. So is it, what is the figure? Is it um, a trapezoidal, is it a trapezoid window? Is it um, a parallelogram roof? Is it a triangle pyramid that you're making and like it's a Las Vegas kind of cool building um, whatever you want to do okay just tell me what those are and find a measurement for each of your individual areas and this um, worksheet city planning three is where you're actually going to write down your um, your measurements um, so like for this I would like we would write um, 5 times 3, length times width, 5 times 3, and then 5 times 3 equals 15. If it's um, if you're gluing a whole bunch of these together, 7th grade, you'd say 5 times 3, 4 times, okay, and get all of those. So number uh, worksheet number 3 is where you're adding all that in. Um, and then 6th grade, you're done. Okay, that's that's what you have to do. Seventh grade, I have that surface area worksheet for you. Um, and it kind of is helpful because you can kind of add all those shapes together. It just gives you a little bit more room to do that if you want to do that one. 